Ooh, what's up, guys? This is the Brightman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this in this episode, uh, the for this force under Abraham Pitt is laying siege to the city of Hyderabad, one of the Marath Empire's largest cities. So let's crack on um, and capture it. So we are attacking this city. We're also laying siege to Satara. So those are two very important cities for the Mughal Empire. They're going to be very, very good um, launch pads for us to move forward. It also adds a bit of a, a bit more of a secure area um, in southern India to raise more forces to push forward. But yeah, in the grand scheme, things are just going quite well. Eventually we will break the back of the Maratha forces, and then we will simply push through the Middle East and begin the war in Europe from another direction. Obviously, there's rain. The howitzers set up here because they're going to be going after the enemy garrison mortars. Let's set up my 24 pounders. And effectively, my infantry line is just going to sit and wait. And because it's raining. Don't know why it's being so unstable. Okay, so now it's as beautiful. Quick climb right into the centre. My foot artillery are also engaging them, it appears. Or attempting to, but quick climb is going to make short work of them, that's for sure. Although it looks like a couple of the shells have landed. Well, they've impacted the, um, the gatehouse. So let's speed up time. Although with one volley and they're already down to 51% on the wall. Oh no, the um, artillery is still trying to shoot the centre. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we've made our breach. Yeah, that gatehouse is actually causing problems. It's preventing our shells from impacting. Let's give them another volley. We may have to adjust our solution. That's one shell away. Landed short, unless it's not even. I wonder if it's just they're not just accepting my orders because I gave it to them during um, compressed time. That's what it is. They appear they appear able to engage these targets. They are just choosing not to. In either case, the line shall advance. So the enemy artillery is not yet um, dealt with. Let's aim at the corner. Although actually let's hold fire for the time being. Let my guys scoot past. Okay, you may aim at that corner piece. Somebody's wavering. Ah, the mortars. They are down to one... Two crewmen left and one gun. Excellent. So the corner pieces are really quite vulnerable. The corner pieces, corner sections of the fort. Especially as Quicklime is doing its glorious work. shells in the air? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, that's an awful lot of dead cavalry. More mercenaries are populous. Okay, the 
mortars opened up. My howitzer's shells are coming in. I mean, they, killed, they, they aimed at the Phylocon populace and they did a lot of damage. Let's just make everybody run. Get my tribal auxiliary up to cover the gate. Get a mounted unit to try, cover the, try to capture the gatehouse as is. Actually, no, you want to go in through the centre. Make the 87th. Secure the gate. Let's make my guns fire at will. See what they shoot at or what they attempt to shoot at. Are they going to actually try and shoot at the... They are actually going to try and shoot at the troops in the centre. Somewhat successfully, too. Okay, the enemy... The enemy are coming in. Again, because we are not... Because we are not... Uh, we are fighting a battle in the rain. We've got lots of weird sound problems. Lots of enemy... Okay, right, let's get these quick climbing units engaging the engaging the ground in front of us uh, the ground in front of us. The U men scale the walls, capture the gates. I think as the units try and push out, they are engaging for they are being beaten back. Ooh, dervishes have come in. The U men scale the wall, Cursier attack the dervishes. Let's just run the cavalry in because the gates are open. Yeah, it's an awful lot of men that have just broken. <laughs> I guess my um, cavalry did a lot of damage to you as well. That's okay. It does suck when the battle is... When I get rain. Again, I don't know. I don't know why my particular installation... I've tried to, so tried to sort it before, but I don't know. I don't know. Got no answer. Um, try and make men use more um, ropes to climb up. Make, make these units form. Uh, oh, good old bit of friendly fire right there. Okay, company troops, try get in. Hey, this infantry came back. Push them into the breach and engage the camel gunners. So howitzers, switched around shot, engage the general's bodyguard. Get all of you men to get in rapidly. Native War Auxiliary is going to bring down these camels pretty rapidly. Oh yeah, there we go. Routing. Nice. Okay, very anticlimactic. And again, it's just not cool having... Not great fun having um, rainy battles. Because you just get no... 
no sound. Or if you do, it's very spotty and, and you know, just not great. But still, Hyderabad's taken. Destroy the university. Let's try and, well, let's repair the government buildings. You guys replenish. Upgrade the farm, but there's no universities, or there's no um, villages left to grow anyway. A couple of fragmented armies up here. That is all. You guys have done a lot of fighting up to the northeast. You're just holding on to the city itself. You're on your way to head north. Let's bring in a unit of heavy cavalry. Good shout. Oh, let's also, yes, let's recruit a field marshal of India. Where is it we can do that? Here's Hyderabad. Let's do that. Cool. They hide behind Make ready. So Christian Vern. At the ready. It's just you just go deal with them. Undaunted. Undefeated. Prepare for battle. It's a weird direction to take. Anything more? Okay, don't worry about dealing with them now. You guys just keep replenishing. Ready Let's get the action. sloop in port. Let's get port. Oh, it's not our port, is it? Silly me. Uh, okay, so go upgraded to the latest roads. Okay, we really need some religious agents to start showing up here. Not, not ideal. Maybe you men just siege them. I mean, you could attack them, to be honest. They are very weak, even with reinforcements. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's take Satara. Deal another, a nice double blow to the Maratha Empire. Their forces are crazy weak. I should, it shouldn't even really be a question. Just go for them. The Lord is a man of war. Mm, perhaps. Right. Let's get cracking. Probably don't need to worry about um, standing off and being too sneaky. So deploy my guns a bit further away. The troops can just advance as they please, I think. It's a nice clustering in the centre, but I don't know. Oh, quick one's coming in. Misfires. A really good hit would have been superb there, but didn't get it. Gunners engage this section of the wall. Knock a hole in it. You're not aiming at the right spot. Okay, you've done some good damage to the wall. I hear charges, but... They've nicely waited for us to get out of range. Good hits. Broken. Broken. Scattered. Look, the unpopulars are pushing out towards us as well.
You made and secure the corner. My infantry reloading, ready to slaughter the armed populace with volley fire. Unless they run back in. You foolish, foolish system. Okay, these two gunners aim at that section of the wall. Shots away. Ah, oh, obviously the rain starts coming in. Good hits. Let's shut off this flank a bit more, get a unit of mercenaries up on the wall. We feel compelled to try and match us. Horsemen. A lot of you just died to quick climb to a quick climb strike. Yep, they don't like that one bit. You might engage that section. I mean, what the hell is this doing? Something like that. That's all that's really needed. Enemy cavalry, I remember when you were a problem. Oh, you're just going to run in through the breach. Oh, that's super fun. Or just get stuck. Nice one, AI. Let's capture the gate. Let's see if we can get you guys off the wall and in the corner. There's a unit of dervishes that are coming in to try and match you, which is great. Okay, you men run along, capture the gatehouse, then we can just pour in. Charge those dervishes. Maybe camel gunners coming in. You guys push up. The legions are a bit useless. Push through, men. Engage the camel gunners on foot. You men deal with the dervishes. They're going down thick and fast. They might have hatchets, but we've got lots of good stuff too. Don't be clever with the cav with the cavalry. Just get them in. The armed populace are getting involved. Get the guerrilla mercenaries positioned to engage the centre. A regiment of line infantry to go after that armed peasantry unit. Keep quick climbing the centre. This unit of line infantry wants to go here. Crossier charge the camel gunners to the rear. You men just charge into the breach. It's only a <laughs> One elephant left. I mean, if they're just going to let us run in and do this, then I'm going to do that, for sure. Handful of dervishes left. Ceasefire with artillery. Kill the 
shield enemy general. Continental Marines get over here. Yeah, they're legging it. They don't want any part of this. Can my guerrillas stand just to hold their position? You men maintain your offensive against this unit of armed peasantry. One unit killed the elephants, the other unit attacked the musketeers. Throwing my guys back, it's very mean. There's only a handful of armed populace in the middle of this blob. Position like so. I mean, it's only these guys that are that are stopping the army from routing completely. Although they do have reinforcements coming in, I do admit, but they are not enough. Engage the Hindu warriors. It's a bit by the by. Finally. Shattered enemy troops. Again, another very lackluster battle, I do admit. Not so great. Still, a victory is a victory. So that's quite a significant loss for the enemy. More to the point actually means that Ahmad Nagar is actually within reach. Make ready for battle. Settlement we can push directly out because we've still got troops here that can garrison the city. Demorest University, we're exempt from taxes. The garrison bonus is a bit smaller because our army is just a bit smaller. But I think that's quite an, a, a decent thing to do. You're getting better roads, you've got better roads. You're getting better roads. Okay, cool. So that's I think is effectively everything we can do in India. Because you guys have done all your fighting, you're just kind of holding for now, defending the east. So in France itself. Because really what we want to do is take you, get you about here. So I could attack them, but I'll just push them further west. So I want to kind of go in from the north. Don't invest in anything down here. You just maintain your hold on the bridge because you've got coverage over this bridge as well. Everybody else though really is replenishing except for you. But if you attack these armies, you've got no way, you're not going to really take advantage of it. Okay, let's repair the royal palace. Let's get you chaps replenishing. Exemptory from tax just to get you to chill out. And everybody else, just make sure they're all replenishing because a lot of troops here that need help. Okay, so the new chaps. Good, good, good. Antwerp, got a trading port. Brussels is getting better roads. Not really anything to do in America except for just keep building up our our armies with a bit of bulk. Three slots, one unit of infantry. Is there anything that isn't? I mean, Minutemen is good, but there's only about a hundred of them. Get guerrilla mercenaries and a native musketman auxilia. That's quite good. Okay. Then that will be you chaps done. 
down here in Texas. Just maintain your steady recruitment of troops. At some point we'll need to take Santa Fe from the Ottomans. Same with Cuba. At some point that's going to happen. But I don't think there's anything we can really do right now. You need two more units and you're about to get them. Awesome. Okay, let's... Make sure all of our... Oh yeah, Cologne, we don't want that university. Awesome. Okay, let's hit and turn. And see how the AI reacts. It's got some more troops coming up from Spain. More troops going marching down to Texas. The poor Texas needs more. We need a guard ship. So let's see how the let's see how how much the enemy freaks out or not, as the case may be. Still large concentrations of Austrian troops. We need to take Strasbourg and push them back across the river, or at the very least drive south and take Stuttgart and kind of cut them off. There's a couple of different ways to achieve it, but we definitely just need more forces. So that's why the, that army in Europe in England will help, because we can land them and push. And we are still in the Balkans, but right now we've got a an enormous defensive position in the Balkans. Not really something that we can attack from with great strength. I mean, realistically, I could push out. We've got three armies there-ish. I could probably defend it. Defend that area with two because we've got three attacking armies. I mean, one would, might be enough, but one's a lot more. Um, it's a bit of a gamble. You can, you can definitely hold out at a ratio of three to one, but you're really relying on um, effectively making a breach yourself in your own walls. Otherwise, you really are just kind of. It is a lot of gambling. I suppose more troops may end up going south. Yes, please. Although we're going to cross the river because you've got nothing but artillery, <laughs> light cavalry. We are not going to sit back because that's kind of that's a really ideal mixture for the for the enemy to try and get some good kills against us. get set up where law ends tyranny begins yeah we're not waiting my artillery is going to set up and engage the enemy but we're not going to sit back and just yes cavalry plus general cross the river in force Infantry follow them rapidly themselves. Although we've actually got the Austrian cavalry coming in from our side. I send you guys across in number as well. Okay, you guys might actually want more support. Yes, you do. has been annihilated. Oh, 
Is there any enemy cavalry over here yet? No, in which case then, better you cease fire limber up. Limber up and about turn. My general's enough to mop up these troops. You guys that have ran across, you're probably just going to come straight back, actually. Carabiner advancing into position. Popping shots off at this carabiner. Kill the last of the crew. Oh, this artillery's mounted up. Perfect. Get all this cavalry come. Storming back. Demon slaughter the guns. Can you men advance on that unit of infantry. These troops advance right in the face of the light infantry. How's my general doing? Still pecking away at these mounted gunners. They will eventually fall over and die. Okay, how it says. Oh, how cool. Very nice of you to engage our... Why are you coming in to join them? We Come in, my infantry into the fight. Engage the militia, although you're in a... Defilade. Got shrapnel. Shot bursting in front of us. Carabiner been torn down. Excellent. Charge the guns. Oh, on the 149th, you're in a good position. The light infantry guards need to advance to the top of the hill. Volley, close range. Excellent. Oh, cavalry's not even running. Fall upon that last horse artillery crew. Perfect, they're both limbering up, but they'll both fall immediately. Oh, apart from you. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, yeah. End of there. Bit of a mad slaughter at the end. That's not so bad. That's right, scuttle back to Italy. You won't be able to help the Austrians now. Yeah, they can. I think we need to take out Hanover. They are able to just use that territory to bypass our front, and it does not work for us.
Yeah, we can't let that work. That doesn't work for us anymore. We can't let them get away with that. They're going to go raid or blockade the... Um, not straight to Gibraltar, but darn close. We really need to start squeezing this area. I think, if, depending on what the condition of these troops is, next turn, that's quite a good way to do it. Attack this force, draw in the reinforcements, and just keep pushing them back. You know, this is, this is classic endgame tactics. <laughs> well, classic endgame situations. You've just got an awful lot of killing to do. The AI has got strong armies. Um, but it looks like we're starting to chug. So I will see you guys back in a second when things start moving. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are off again. And the only thing that actually happened was the... Uh, <laughs> was the Austrians just kind of shuffled more troops around the front. I'm not quite sure what Prussia's up to. They might begin to declare war on Venice, because they seem to be gathering their ships from near Venice, marching troops through the Balkans towards Venice. Could be what they're doing. That's right, Marathas. Don't try and raid. Just... Oh. They're gathering their strength, ready to push out, but... If they take their time, that would be ideal. Uh, you are going to withdraw. Oh, you can't withdraw. You're going to fight this action. Very well. We're not badly hurt. If we deploy back, that will be fine. But yeah, this, <laughs> this could be the loss of a full army. I don't think it will. Um, we might be a bit weak in certain areas, but yeah, I think we're going to be going to be okay but they're an army that definitely wants reinforcement rapidly we're not going to want to leave them out on the front line for very long okay so i want to defend this front line So a limber. I'm going to want to form a bit of a box. You may never advance up to the back of it. One gun's gonna sit one gun team's gonna sit back. And counter battery. Oh, it's going to be on quick climb right off the bat. Got a decent cavalry contingent. They can hold in the woods, although can't really hide. Get some guerrilla mercenaries to drop some drop some stakes in front of us. Let's maybe drop another mercenary unit just to kind of fill in the left flank. These units can commit and fight on the right flank. Yikes. I say yikes. That's the enemy reinforcements coming in over here. You guys want to limber up. immediately which is very nice let's 
Celadar Lancers. Team in form square. Mount a tribal auxiliary. Put a volley into them. Flaming Swordsman wants to help out. Get my howitzers working, trying to clear out that reinforcing army. Grossier charge the Islamic Swordsmen. Oh, they're routing, so definitely charge them. See if we can shatter them. Oh, bad luck. Who, who hit you? Did their artillery get you? Must have been. That was bad luck. Okay, they are going to come back, sadly. My artillery... Attempt to engage in counter-battery work. I don't want to fall back that far. Use canister shot. We're not that far off of making the enemy units route. So let's use our howitzers. Oh, okay, right. Let's get you gunners. And knock out that general's bodyguard. It looks like we are making Sea Warriors down their decision. That's good. Let's get the armed populace. I mean, I would be worried about this flank, but we've actually got quite a decent amount of firepower set up, set up um, for us to use. Let's use my regiment of horse. See if we can pick off some of their gunners. My light cavalry. Oh my, this cavalry doing some good work. Commit my cavalry to run around the enemy troops. Don't, don't, don't worry about them. Just keep blasting these troops. They will eventually break. You've got lots of musket ammunition. These guys pushing their gun away. You men attack the Islamic swordsmen. We might be able to draw a few units of melee infantry away from the battle as well. Yeah, charging again. Skirmishes into the line. Excellent. Kill the mortars. Kill a handful more of these Islamic swordsmen. Yep, we've got a union of dervishes to follow us. Well, they're going to route pretty quick. Swordsman, just shatter. Mm. 
gunners engage the fire locker. Copy this. Constant withering fire of my skirmishes has got to help. Let's make sure you don't get caught by those melee troops. Shattered, good. Actually, if you can kill these guys, that'll be quite good. It always feels like the shot is just more dependable short range, but then again, if they're looking to rout, then... That rush shot will do the trick. Okay, let's recall the cavalry. And then we have one unit on the field that's determined just to chase us and not let us forget. Get them back. Nope, you know, populace are coming back into range. Nope. Got a couple. But they're all running. Let's get the horse guards back. Stupid cavalry. Why are you trying to fight them? Just get them, just come back here. You don't even got to run. Just come back. Switch my howitzers to round shot and get them to engage these dervishes because they're the only thing left on the field. They are focused on my cavalry. They want them badly. The shrapnel shots blew a nice hole in their lines and then concentrated artillery fire. They can actually make it to the line? They are. couple of volleys and they'll run. Yes, you fools. You thought you were going to save that town. You were wrong. Victory belongs to the USA. The agents are now decamping from the university, knowing that there is... There's no point sticking around to watch their precious building get burned down. And that's the end of the... That's the end of the Mughal... The Maratha end turn phase. Although, now we are at the Ottoman end turn phase. And this keeps on chugging, so I'm going to see you guys in a second. Man, the game's really conspiring against me today. Austria takes a long time. Uh, Marathas take a long time. Russia takes a long time. The Ottomans take a long time. Yeesh. Gotta really make all these turns count. Right. Raids to the south. Well, raids near Hyderabad. That's to be expected. Take advance. Mass production. And we're going on to percussion shells. That's fine. Let's keep the... The recruitment and expansion going. I think you're just going to be nine slots, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then another general and repeat. Good, new port upgrade. Riots in Mysore, but they that's chilled them out. Awesome. You don't need one unit of infantry. Men, forward. Get up there rapidly. Marlon Rose is growing. 
We have another army, which is great. Everybody, just keep going. Let's just start mass recruiting infantry out of Satara and Hyderabad. You want to start backfilling some of our depleted units as quickly as possible. Um, I'm happy to let you guys try and advance up towards Amsterdam, actually. Oh, here we go. You're not actually in range to attack that army, that sucks. You're pretty good though, so you're able to fight them, push them back. You're One of you is ready to attack one of these armies plus maybe this one. Okay, wait, maybe let's not try and solve all of the world's problems in one action. Yeah, minus six, minus ten. You really need those dragoons. You can't recruit dragoons. I mean, you're recruiting all this artillery. I'm not quite sure what for, so I'm just going to cut it all for now. Let's get one turn of dragoons recruited out of Mysore. Oscar Davis. Let's start to grow you into a full-sized fully full-sized force. Al Bradley's probably uh, you were probably the one that was getting artillery recruited. Okay, let's try and focus on twelve pounders. Let's get two units of mercenaries. Okay, I'll be you ready in a few turns. So this force is a bit depleted. Let's combine a few of these units to make to make as many of them as possible full strength. So we've at least only got one unit that's kind of weak. Okay, you let's go and attack Arush Gore. Lots of this is lots of dregs of smaller armies that have been they have been um, combined together. Lots of elephant units, lots of weakened Gurkhas. So if we do some good damage here, we can just wipe this army out, and then we can get, maintain a bit more of an offensive um, towards the north. Try and capture yet another large Maratha city in future turns. So we're not going to hold and defend. We're going to engage the enemy head on. Except with this infantry unit. They're going to stay back. Ooh, someone here is really weak. You. Both of these units. Neither of you guys are going to be on the expedition. Take all of you guys minus a unit of horse guards. Cavalry is a bit vulnerable, but we'll just have to make do. Yeah, this is this is just a load of the dregs. Push forward ever so slightly. Bring in mind there are still enemy troops that are. Well, there's enemy cavalry that's advancing up at speed. But yeah, the army itself is very weak. Make ready and fire. 
again raining so sound problems are inevitable Commit the general in against the Pindari horsemen. We took out the, that entire cavalry unit, which was nice. You know, let's, we may as well just try quick line, see if we can clear out some entire units. So it's a bit of a risk throwing my general in. I think we're going to have enough firepower to deal with them. The skirmishes are trying to hold out. Enemy generals hiding far to the rear. Gurkhas are now incredibly elite, but very weak. You guys still need to reload. The sad thing is that these camels coming in are going to infuse our eff efforts to annihilate enemy infantry. Okay, let's push the infantry up. Reload against the Gurkhas in time. No, you're going to be charged by them, but that's okay. New men engage the Pindari horsemen. There's only 32 of them or so. How it's a switched around shot, engage some of these mobile enemy units. Dervishes are wavering. They might break. Okay, let's bring... You guys attack them. You guys attack the Gurkhas. Let's try and at least mop up one enemy unit. Let's throw some infantry into this fight. Let's probably fold these units around the rear of the Gurkhas. Okay, there we go, they're being isolated and destroyed. You then kill the Gurkhas. Okay, company cavalry, go attack that unit of Gurkhas. My heavy cavalry can continue to deal with the horsemen. Mercenaries, pikemen, Sikh warriors. Many, many delightful units to kill. Ooh. Okay, you men chase down the Gurkhas here. We'll chase them down them. Okay, let's ceasefire the artillery. Loads of rainy battles this episode. Don't know why. Problem is, I think this, these guys are just too too few in number to prosecute targets individually. So I'm probably going to have to group them up to achieve that effect. Achieve the desired effect. You've got. There's not enough of you to kill the Gurkhas needed. Oh, it's so tell a lie. Yes, there is. You men all attack this unit of Sikh warriors. Kill them! Kill them all! Unit's 
gonna escape okay. Try and knock out the rest of these pikes. Excellent. Good, 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 good. That army's almost entirely destroyed. Make ready. March. Can you men replenish and then push forward? So we're pushing up both sides of the river. More orders. Let's repair and repair. No generals on the horizon to worry about. Push my agent forward to see what lies beyond the fog of war. A couple more units. Just mop up that cavalry unit. Lost a lot more men than we should have done, but this force isn't really about pushing, it's just kind of holding. Um... Lots of enemy generals over here. 26%. Okay, you. Let's try to go after this fellow. 31%, not bad. Not enough. Mass production, yes, we have, but we're not worrying about what's going on over there for now. Coaching, let's get a church school. We can start to tax our cot. Convert them over to Protestantism and that'll be super. Let's repair this global trading company. I said Satara, just replenish like mad. You just hold the siege for now. You get your troops into port. Disembark, Mr. Goth. Go after a Medabad, because that's like that's it's a really big loss for them. Just having a look, see what lies ahead of us. Um, yes, we really do need you do need my source cure to push this army up, to help kind of clear up this bottleneck. Um, to be honest, I think it might not actually be a terrible thing just to deal with this while we can. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for more Slaughter in the USA campaign. Cheers everyone.